Welcome to EasyLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at the different types of radioactive emissions. Before we introduce to why some couples uh, uh, emit radiation. So today we are going to see now the different types of radiations. So we have the radioactive nucleides disintegrating. They usually emit radiations. The examples of radiation, we have the alpha red particle, which is represented by this sign, beta, which is represented by this sign, and gamma, which is represented by this sign. So you can see the signs in questions. Make sure you're able to remember which represents what. So the alpha particle, when you start with alpha, it has the following characteristics. It's positively charged like protons. So this particle is positive, and then it has mass number of 4 and atomic number of 2. Therefore, it is equal to a charged helium, as you can see in the setup. And it has very low penetrating power. Thus, it can be stopped or blocked by a thin sheet of paper. It has very high ionizing power, thus it can cause a lot of damage to the living cell. You can see its penetration is not that much, but when it does, you can see how much effect it has on the living cells. And then it's usually deflected by both electric current and the magnetic field. And on the electric field, it's usually deflected towards the negative plate just because it is positive in nature. So this is the uh, representation. You can see the alpha particle is the first one. So it is deflected. Some books will show deflection, like you see the arrow going up once. It's deflected by, it's um, stopped by a piece of paper. And then uh, when you put an electric field, it actually is attracted to the negative. It reflects on the negative uh, plate because it is positive in nature. We go to the next uh, particle, which is a beta particle. So beta particle has some of the following characteristics. It is negatively charged. It's like electrons. And it's not electrons per se, but like electrons. So it has no mass number and atomic number. So uh, then the atomic number negative, therefore it's equal to a fast moving electron. You can see it doesn't have any mass number and it has a negative uh, atomic number. It has uh, the medium penetrating power that can be stopped by a block of aluminium sheets. So you can see this one can pass through the paper comfortably, but when it meets a block of aluminium sheet, it cannot pass, it is stopped. It has very medium ionizing power, so it causes very little damage to the living cells in comparison to the alpha particle. And then it is deflected by both electric and magnetic field. And on the electric field, it's deflected towards the positive uh, charge, because the positive plate, because it's positively charged. So you can see it from the setup. It's this. So you can see it passes the paper, but it is stopped by the aluminum. And then on the electric field, you can see it's deflected on the positive plate because it's negatively charged. And then finally, we have the gamma particles. So the gamma particles usually have the following characteristics. First of all, they are not negatively or positively charged, so they are neutral in nature. So they have no mass number, no atomic number, so they are equal to... Uh, electromagnetic waves. They have very high penetrating power and can be stopped by a block of thin, a thick block of lead, as you can see in the setup. So the gamma rays can pass through the paper, it can pass through the aluminium, but it is stopped by lead. It has very low ionizing power, so it can't uh, cause any damage to the living cells unless 
in a prolonged exposure. So it is not deflected by both by electric current or magnetic field because it does not have any charge. As you can see in the setup, there is no deflection because there is no charge whatsoever. So let's look at uh, this question. The diagram below, use the diagram below to answer the questions that follow. So we have the source of the radiation. You can see A is stopped by a sheet of paper, B is stopped by aluminum foil, and the, the C is stopped by lead block. So identify the radiation. So A is the alpha radiation, B is the beta radiation, and C is the gamma radiation. Then complete the diagram below to show how the alpha and beta particles from radioactive uh, particles can be distinguished from each other. So if you were to distinguish the alpha, so this arrow would come and then stop at the paper. And then for the beta, this arrow would come and is stopped by the aluminum or metal foil. So you can go on and explain explain why so so the penetrating power of alpha is not so much in comparison to the penetrating power of the beta particle that's why for the for the alpha it is stopped by a piece of paper then for the for the beta it is stopped by a metallic foil because it has a higher penetrating power so that brings us to the end of the two types of three types of radiations that occur. So you noted we need to look at the equations. So the next thing that we're going to look at the radioactive equations that occur when substances disintegrate uh, or decay to release uh, radiation. So see you in the next lesson as we focus on this.